Are you looking to distribute your music and you don't know how? Or are you working with the distributor and you don't like them and you want to try somebody new? Well, if either one of those is the case, then this video is for you. And we're going to get to it all after this introduction. Welcome everybody, I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So if you are looking to improve upon any of those skills, get the latest product reviews and also learn about music business, what we're talking about today, make sure that you subscribe so you know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about Verse One, who is a digital music distributor. So they kind of have an interesting business model. So instead of paying to release your music up front, they just take a 15% cut of your royalties, okay? So you pay nothing to release it and then they just take a cut. So basically, you know, they don't get any money until you get money, which is usually a pretty good business model for the person actually getting the service. Now, I also have a list of other services that they offer in the description below. They're bullet pointed and they have the prices with them, okay? So in this video today, we are going to talk about verse one, what they have to offer. And then I'm also gonna show you the artist web portal. So that would be the view that you see if you decide to release music through them. And if you decide to, I do have a link in the description below where you can go check them out on their actual website. So with that being said, let's get further into today's topic and let's take a look into the world of verse one. All right, so who is Verse One? Well, as mentioned earlier, they are a digital distribution company and more. They describe themselves as music people for music people. They are basically saying that just because you are not on a record label doesn't mean you don't deserve to be heard, and they're here to make that happen. Now, the cool thing about them is that they are based in Asia, but they also have a US office in Delaware, now, we all know that the Asian music market is huge and they love Western music. So possibly going with verse one, you might get a leg up over in that market. So what does verse one do? Well, as mentioned, they are a digital music distribution company. So of course they distribute your music. Now they do that to 280 plus digital music stores. And those are places like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Tidal, YouTube, all those good places. Now they also do digital music publishing. So this is things like sync licensing when you're gonna get your song in you know, film or videos. So they collect the royalties for that. And then they also have additional promotional services that they charge an extra fee for, but these things will help get your name and your music out there much quicker than if you try to do it all yourself. Here are a couple other notable features that are worth mentioning. They will get your music heard in 190 countries. And as mentioned, 280 plus platforms they will release it to. And they'll be able to get your music up to these digital stores within 48 hours or less. So that is very quick. So after you sign up and get accepted into verse one, these are some of the features that you get with your service. You get YouTube content ID monetization. So that means that if somebody uses your song in one of their videos on YouTube, you're actually gonna get the royalties for that. You get editorial playlist pitching, which is awesome because as we all know today, playlists are really where your music gets heard at. You get pre-order, pre-save smart links. So this is gonna help for people to know about your song before it's released. You get free ISRC and UPC codes, which are required to release your music. You get monthly revenue reports and payouts, and you get a centralized artist dashboard, which I'm gonna show you later. So the process to get your music distributed with verse one from start to finish, that would be from actual signing up to releasing it and collecting royalties is 11 steps. So the first step here is to sign up, obviously. Step number two, you have to get approved. Now I'll be honest, I'm not sure what goes into them actually approving or denying you, but just keep in mind you have to get approved. Then you're gonna sign a contract. After that, you're gonna create your user account and you then are going to upload your music. Step six, they are going to do a fingerprinting check. That means that they are going to make sure that none of your music has any copyright infringements in it. So in step seven, they're gonna do a primary QC check in-house to make sure that your content has no metadata errors. And then step eight, that is gonna be a secondary QC check. 
just to make sure that everything else is in order. And then step nine, they are going to deliver your release to all of the digital music stores out there that they support. And then 10, your music is live within minutes. And then after that, step 11, you can start collecting your royalties. So a feature that I thought that was worth mentioning is their Dolby Atmos processing. So what this does is it takes your stereo mix and converts it into Dolby Atmos. Now, this is not as intricate as if you were to make a Dolby Atmos mix in the studio where you're placing specific sounds in specific areas of the sound field. This is just gonna take your stereo mix and pretty much fill it out to all the areas in the Dolby Atmos spectrum, okay? And all you have to do is simply hit this little checkbox right here and it will convert it to Dolby Atmos. And it'll be released on places that actually support that. So Apple Music is one of them, Tidal, Amazon Music, and I think there might be a couple others out there, okay? So now that we got all of that out of the way, let's actually take a look at the Artist Web Portal. All right, so here we are in the Artist Web Portal. And Verse One was nice enough to make me an artist account here so I can show you what is actually in this portal. Now, I don't have any releases, so you're not gonna see everything, but this should still give you a good idea what they're offering you. So first, we start out in the dashboard page here. And you're gonna have your latest releases here on the left. Over here on the right, you're gonna have a daily digest of stuff. And then across the bottom, we have this cool little news ticker of things going on in the music industry. Next, we have the My Releases page. And on here, this will show you all of your releases and their metadata, so you can keep track of them. Next, we have our bulk release section. So if you want to upload a bunch of songs at one time, you can simply hit the new bulk upload button here, and then you can put in your metadata and upload your files and you'll be all good to go. Next, we have the payout section. So right here, you're gonna see your current balance. You can also request a single payment or you can set up monthly payments. And then you also have your history of payouts here and other transactions. Next, we have our report section. So you have three main reports in here. I have your royalty statements, you have social and radio, that's like your social media and your radio airplay. And then you also have your streaming and downloads, okay? So looking here first, this is the earnings chart. So obviously I don't have any songs in here, so you're not gonna see anything. But we do have a little demo in here under social and radio. So this is uh, SCA, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce her name, but uh, that as you can see in the top right here they put this in here for me so I can show it to you. This is an example of her followers and it shows you all the different places that it's collecting data from. And we can also scroll down and we can see where her music ranks on all these different charts. So that's pretty cool. And then after that, we have our streaming and downloads. And this will show you, of course, you know how many streams you're getting and where, and then you know people still buy digital downloads. It's gonna show you in here also. Next, we have the services section and these are all free and they're done by request. So first we have the YouTube multi-channel network. So this allows you to submit your videos to Verse One to get on their multi-channel network on YouTube. Next, we have the social media verification. Now, this is probably less important now because we can now buy our blue check marks on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, okay? Next, we have the YouTube Music Official Artist Channel. So this will allow you to get your artist channel on YouTube verified as an official artist channel. Next, we have the Artist DSP profile update. And what this is gonna allow you to do is update your artist data on all the different platforms your music is being delivered to by Verse One. Next, we have playlist pitching request. So this is something that I like. So you can you know, put your music in here and Verse One will pitch it to different playlists for you. So that's very beneficial. Next, we have the claims release. So this is gonna let you submit any video that you find on YouTube that has your music in it and basically submit it as a claim so you can collect royalties on it, okay? So that's again, like if somebody else is using your music in their video. And lastly, we have the missing release report, which allows you to report to Verse One any platforms that your music isn't showing up on. All right, so the last section in the artist web portal is the guide and help. And this section is very beneficial. So it's going to show you how to upload your music all the way to releasing it and collecting royalties you'll see that there's a bunch of written documentation right here. And then you can also go over to platform tutorials here and you can see some videos on how to do this, all right? So that is everything that I want to show you in the Verse One Artist Web Portal. All right, so there you have it. You should now know everything that you need to know about Verse One to decide if you want to release your music through them. 
So I want to leave you with this one concept. So remember, they're taking 15% of all your royalties and you are releasing your music for free. So again, they don't get paid until you get paid and they want you to make a lot of money because they make more money in that situation. So they're going to be probably more invested in your success than maybe some other distributors who you just kind of pay a straight up fee and maybe you keep all your royalties. Okay. So just think about that there. I want to leave you with that. All right. So if you guys end up liking this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe so I'm making this content for you and make sure that you hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. And don't forget, there is a link in the description below if you guys want to end up distributing your music through verse one. And with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.